Hi, good morning. My name is Sagar Gimirek. Can you tell me your full name, please? Good morning, sir. My name is Subhas Ramayan. So what can I call you? You can call me Subhas Ramayan. Okay, Subhas. So can I see your identification first? Okay, thank you. That's good. So keep it. So are you ready to begin the test? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's start by talking about yourself first, okay? So do you work or are you a student? I am uh, both a student of a master's and uh, in part time I work as a teacher. Okay, so what did you study? I studied a Bachelor of Science in Physics from Trishandra College. Okay, so why did you choose to study Physics instead of other subjects? Honestly speaking, uh, when I was in school, uh, I loved some practical activities uh, which are only in uh, science subject and uh, I found it's really interesting for me and um, in, in physics it's only about reality, there is no any virtual or any imaginary things and that's why I, am, I love that subject. Okay, what do you hope to do when you finish your studies? Uh, I did not, I does not think about that since because uh, I don't know how where I am or where I will be in future because I am planning to go abroad also. Uh, and I, I actually do not think about that but uh, I think if I had done my masters in uh, higher percentage I will and I will be a lecturer okay. in a renowned university. All right. So do you see that this subject has a good scope in your country? Obviously, um, I th uh, out of the other subject uh, like doctors and uh, engineering, I think physics has the great opportunity in our country because there are still some uh, things that uh, have to develop here and which is only done by the physicists I think that because I have done and it's my personal view. Okay, so now let's talk about your free time a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. How do you usually spend your spare time? Uh, honestly speaking, I have uh, li very less few times uh, in the weekend uh, because I have uh, to do my work uh, and I have to study also. Uh, it is really hard to manage time. But uh, when I am free and I love to watch uh, different kind of movies uh, and uh, I also love to join with my friends in coffee shop and uh, I also love to play with them. Okay. When you go out, do you usually go alone or will you go with your friends? Yeah, it depends on mood actually. When I was in uh, bad condition or I'm frustrated, then I don't want to have a uh, uh, partner with me because uh, it's really, I, I really feel bad. But uh, when uh, I want to go to playing, uh, some uh, football, just like football, and then it's obviously one cannot do that. Uh, we have to go with friends. It depends on the mood. Okay. So, is there any particular time in a week that you enjoy going out? Yeah, obviously I have already told you that I am quite busy in my professions and study. That's why that is only Saturday which I have free times. And uh, in, in this day, we, I love to go outside with my friends. And okay, so do you think it is important to do some regular exercise in your free time? I personally believe that not only in free times, if you are only if you are busy in your work at that time, you also have to do exercise because um, nowadays the problem of obesity and the overweight is increasing in the world. And if you sit in a single chair for two or the thirteen hours, then it may uh, harm you. Therefore, I think that it's necessary to do exercise. Okay, so is it a part of your daily life, physical exercise? Yeah, obviously, I have, honestly speaking, I played badminton every one and a half hours in the morning. Okay, so now let's move on to the second part of the test, okay? So in this section, you have to speak for two minutes on a given topic. You get one minute to make some notes before you do that. And your topic today is to describe a park that you visited as a child. So this is your topic. Here's a piece of paper and pen for you to take notes and your time starts now.
Okay, that's your time. Okay. okay, you can start speaking, and if I stop you in the middle, don't worry, it means your time's up. Okay, so you can start. Well, uh, I would like to talk about uh, Ratnabhag when I was visited when I'm in the age of uh, 10 years old. Uh, especially, I live in I lived in village. I spent my study from um, from village, and that's why when I was in the city, uh, then I love to visit this place. Uh, Often, only um, uh, once or twice in a year. I go. I went there because uh, I have to. <coughs> uh, I have to leave. Or I live in um, village, and I have no times to come here. Came here, um, and especially uh, <coughs> uh, when I went there, uh, I just love. There are many peoples in the area uh, with uh, different. There are different uh, children are playing in the one side. Elders are rounding in the other side, and although there are a lot of crowd in the park, um, it's really nice to be there because uh, <coughs> you can see many peoples. Because in the village you cannot able to see the amount such amount of peoples because there are limited number of peoples in the village. Um, and uh, another thing, <coughs> the reason that's why I remember that place because uh, um, I think at the time it was. Only a place where I cannot see a single building because uh, there are there were many buildings in the city and this is the single place where you can go and you can play with your friends uh, with you can uh, if you want fresh air or something like that then you can spend your time and with your family there uh, that's why I remember that place. All right, thank you. So can I have the paper and the pencil back? So do you still go to that park? Obviously, uh, when I am free and when I have friends with me, I, but nowadays it looks quite polluted and even more crowded. That's why uh, when I feel like that, I just want to go the, I have to go outside, then I spend small time here. Okay, so now let's talk about parks and public places for a while, okay? So in your community, how cautious are people about parks and public places? Sorry? In your community, are there any parks or public places that people go to? Yeah, uh, i like to describe, I stay in Khaban, which is nearby uh, <coughs> uh, Temple Pospadina, uh, which is historical temple, uh, which is in my locality. Uh, and obviously we know that uh, in every morning in the evening uh, people when they are either for uh, prayer or uh, they just want to have a fresh air or some people go there for yoga children go there for playing with their friends while the elders go there for to take some peace environment there and uh, youngsters go when they are with their partners or girlfriends to spend some beautiful time then Okay, many people say that cities are too crowded these days and children don't have any place to play around. Do you think this is true in your country? Obviously, we can see that um, it's really true for my country also because uh, um, when I see, when I, <coughs> uh, when I, uh, on my professions on the roadway, I see that we, children are playing in the road because there is no any place for them to play in there. They have to play in road or someone are playing in the small ground. And I personally believe that yeah, yeah, obviously um, uh, there is no ground for the children to play. Okay, so where do children play these days if they don't play in the grounds? Especially I have already told you that I see children are playing in the roads and uh, while some are playing in a small ground in the congested area. But uh, now I think they also like to go out of places outside from the city quite long distance from there. And when I have been in Nagarkot I see that children are there only for the playing football. Therefore I think that uh, they love to go outside from the city to play. So do you think creating a park or constructing a park is the responsibility of the government or should it be the responsibility of the local people as well? 
Honestly speaking, uh, I think both have equal uh, <coughs> responsibility for this because uh, government should uh, have uh, uh, rules and regulation for the building structures and the construction of the man-made things just like buildings, hotels, restaurants and, uh, and, other, and on, the, on the other hand, uh, the local people are also responsible for their construction because they know that the parks are really important for them in the future and they have attached with the government and uh, they have make a plan for the future. Okay, what about the maintenance of any public places? Is it government's responsibility or the responsibility of local community? Yeah, this, I, uh, I like to say that uh, in the same way that uh, both government and public have their own responsibility because even if the government uh, wants to uh, clean the park and the public uh, does not uh, help in, for the government to maintain the park and it's not, uh, uh, I mean to say that the government cannot do that because uh, even the government, the, the government have a rules and regulation. But if uh, the public uh, waste their <coughs> time, I mean, uh, broken the uh, some things, lights or uh, base in the park, uh, then uh, the government have to maintain it. But if there is a lot, then I don't. I think that the government do not do that because they have they don't have enough fund in for the single park. Therefore, the pu public also uh, respect and think that this is not only the government job. Uh, they have on the responsibility to do something. Okay, so do you think parks have a important role in the social life of people? Obviously, nowadays we can see that most of the people are staying at home in front of TV and watching. Televisions, and they do not uh, have face-to-face -face communication. If there was, if there is a park nearby their locality, then uh, they have some good time to spend with their neighbors. They can interact with them. Um, and they can share their feelings, uh, either that are positive or negative. Then they have uh, possible solutions from there. That's why. Uh, this. All right. Thank you. That is the end of your speaking test. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed this one and would like to watch some more, do make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that like button and leave some comments down below so that we can make videos according to your choices. Here are a few suggestions for you guys to have a look. Thank you very much for watching it once again. I'll see you in my next video.